Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to Journey Teachers. So we have today a very special guest with us, Rohit Sir, who is an actor, and uh, he'll introduce more about himself. Please. Do. Uh, hi, I'm Rohit Kumar. I'm basically an electrical design and robotics engineer who quit my, my job uh, to become an actor. Uh, re my re recent uh, release was Kamli Huda. Um, here I am. That is wonderful. So tell us something about the experience, the journey of you being an actor. How did it all start? Uh, it started way back uh, in 2015. Uh, I was working as an uh, engineer, suddenly something came to my mind, I don't know what it happened but I quit my job suddenly and then uh, get into this acting field. Okay, so uh, what was your inspiration, the motivation behind quitting your job and actually getting started with your passion of acting? I still uh, look for that now <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know what uh, I have, what I went through to make this this decision mm. uh, I was my life was like going good uh, I was about to go to Germany for my work okay. I was about to go and uh, work there uh, maybe I was planning to settle there uh, then something uh, I don't know sometimes we call it as uh, destiny mm. uh, it took me to this field that's it okay that's quite interesting that you know uh, maybe acting was your calling that's how you were able to uh, deep dwelve into this career instead of going into Germany and sitting down there. Okay, so uh, how was the experience of your film? Uh, what did it teach you and how was the journey, how was the shoot, everything? Yeah, uh, my film, uh, I recently did, my major uh, role was like uh, recent release, Kamli Huda. Uh, it was very good, we used, we shot nearly like uh, 100 days. Uh, it was good. Uh, we used to show get up uh, five o'clock, and we n we didn't know the stop time. Uh, but uh, every day we used to start uh, shooting by six thirty or seven. Uh, it went. It was very very good. That's quite interesting. That you know, uh, you started shooting, and you know all of the steps were covered. So how was it actually started? Like when was your first shoot? How was that experience? Uh, like uh, I was struggling in the industry from uh, past uh, 2015 uh, I get into theater to learn acting because I was an I was an engineer I didn't know anything about acting so I thought of uh, learning and acting uh, so I went to theaters I learned a few things over there then I gradually shifted to short films uh, then after few short films uh, then I get uh, I got my confidence so I shifted to uh, shifted uh, my into cinemas like uh, let me now I am confident I can try in cinemas I shifted to cinemas uh, where I didn't get uh, good roles I don't know mm, I don't know why because it is like this because this is the most uncertain industry uh, after those many years of struggle, uh, I got a breakthrough, breakthrough in uh, Kamli Huda. That's quite inspiring and you know, um, as you mentioned that it was a journey of yeah. when it started seven years back that you were you know kind of uh, struggling and making a position for yourself in this industry and seven years is quite a long period of time. So uh, tell us something about your first film which actually didn't go to the theatres. Yeah, as soon as I got into the industry, I was very lucky because uh, I got a chance to lead a film. Uh, that was like uh, all of a sudden I got into the industry, I got a chance, I did the film, I, I completed Sensor. Then again, suddenly I don't know what happened, that film didn't release. I was like, oh, what happened? Uh, what is happening? Uh, then, uh, oh, then I got to know this is like, uh, this, this industry is like this. There is no nothing called this uh, specific time. Uh, like okay, when it when it goes to when it comes to education, there is a specific time that you will study these three months. Then you will have preparatory. Then you will have a main exam. In film industry, there it is not like that. Uh, whereas in work in normal work also, there is like deri deliverables. You have to deliver this project at this time. When it comes to film industry, anything can happen. Uh, then uh, it was like this, uh, it didn't release, mm, I was upset, then uh, okay, I started, uh, I started uh, forming a team uh, so that uh, 
we, we when we form a team we'll have we will be working in a team and we, it is easy to grow so it started like this okay so that's you know quite uh, this is the uncertainty of this industry so how did you overcome with it and you know uh, what would be your advice to the aspiring actors who are afraid to enter into this industry because of its uncertainty and you know the amount of period the actors have to maybe remain kind of you know uh, jobless for quite a few months altogether so how will you answer that uh, that was like uh, that was the only mistake i did before quitting my job i didn't thought of this like uh, how will i survive because i was like confident that i will be getting like this i will be work because uh, i was confident about my craft i was like yes i will be learning this then i will be uh, training like this then i will definitely get a job like in industry i was like that uh, but uh, like we used to do some uh, yeah, degrees right when i work for 3 years uh, when i study for 3 years or 4 years then i'll de- i am confident that definitely i'm getting a job in, in in this whatever engineering or degree whatever but this is not like this mm, that was the only mistake i did uh, like not having a passive source on un- source of income you know, to sustain myself uh, that is the only advice that i can give uh, to the newcomers have a passive source of income so that you can try whatever you want to try that's really true because you know uh, one cannot just enter you know without any kind of planning into this industry you have to have a, a passive source of income to have your uh, living well and maybe you know you can start it as a side thing and then make it full time slowly right yeah yeah definitely uh, initially i had a uh, few friends who were against this but uh, after uh, kn- knowing my seriousness uh, they started supporting a little bit little bit then i like okay this is going to happen then the major uh, thing happened uh, major uh, setback was uh, corona we after so many years of struggle we are uh, we are shooting a film and suddenly covid came yeah that was like uh, that was the most distinct period or oh, anyhow we were commit and we released our film in november and it was like a it was it made a big name in the industry now i am like moving forward yeah so tell us something about you know making and forming your own team so as to actually get started maybe producing your own film directing acting all of that uh, what was your experience like uh, when it comes to team i was i w- i was n- i know that i am not like i am not going to direct my own films because it it is something beyond my uh, knowledge at that time so i like uh, i know, i know, i had a friend who in my engineering who wanted to become a director i i, I know that he wanted to become a director and he was like struggling in the industry i called him then uh, we found like okay then i he is he wanted to become a director i wanted to become a lead so we formed like uh, we started uh, uh, including people like uh, music guy camera guy one by one into the team and started doing short films that's how the like we formed like it happened uh, we were like it didn't uh, we were, it was not planned but it happened then we got to know that we want to be in this we want to be a team to grow right okay because uh, it actually takes a team to do whatever maybe you know producing a film or maybe running a startup it the team is the asset so um, how many members you have in your team and how did you actually plan out and carry out the work to actually make a fil- from the idea from just an idea to actually releasing a part- movie in a theater uh it involves so many procedures uh, like first when it comes to idea they will uh, director or writer who, who who has that idea he start he will start writing uh initially will start sometimes it depends upon uh, a particular individual sometimes he will write alone sometimes he will write with uh, team discussing then uh, he will form like first draft then he will discuss with people uh then the, the changes will happen then the improvements will happen after the script 
after after all the script then the dialogues ka version comes uh, after the, all the dialogues we will plan like uh, who is the uh, music director who is going to make uh, who is going to do this uh, film as the lead uh, actors uh, then uh, camera department editing uh, then we form associate director assistant directors then we will shoot the film uh, then we will when it comes to post production uh, we will convert those uh, uh, footages we will edit we will give background music we will make uh, song recordings then uh, uh, all those things uh, singing and uh, di uh, we will the, the initial footage will be colorless uh, then we will give it a, give, it, give it a color mm, then mixing sound mixing 5.1 dolby now it is dolby atmos mixing then the complete package will happen that is quite a long journey so how much time does it take to produce one film make you know as compared to the first and the second one uh, it depends upon the script because uh, your first uh, film will have uh, a purity in the script whereas second cinema from second cinema you will uh, acquire all the knowledge surrounding to the film industry you, you are going to implement that knowledge when in terms of script in terms of marketing in terms of business so some it will be like this uh, it happens like it, it is not a it is not like particular this it will happen it will sometime it will change over the period of time it will definitely change right Okay, so uh, would you want to tell us something about how does the film actually come in the theater? How the film is actually given to the theater people and then you know displayed to the audience? What is that process? Uh, the once we make a film, complete film, it will be in DCP format. That will be given to uh, like there are few satellite partners. Yeah, uh, you may observe in when it when you watch film in theaters like UFO, Cube, Scrabble. we will give that we will upload that film uh, into their facility like we will go to their facility and we will upload our cinema uh, there to the servers the, those guys will project cinema to particular cinema hall like there is uh, that particular event manager for some pvr kormangala something like that he will assign our cinema uh, cinemas to particular Uh, halls like hardy so one hardy two hardy three he will assign that then he will ask uh, then that particular uh, distributor cinema distributor will give assign password to that cinema hall then they will project that cinema when they enter that password that cinema will be projected in this hall i'm quite sure that a lot of people would not be aware of all of this process so it was really you know uh, worth listening to and uh, the kind of security which is there uh, while projecting a film is like surely huge for you know eradicating the chances chances of its leakage and all right yeah yeah uh, because it is uh, when it comes to this uh, these are most secure way uh, till now Uh, to project a cinema because the, there is no chance of leakage uh, when it comes to satellite uh, that uh, piracy is there but uh, that will happen when the th- theater recordings through uh, theater recordings illegal recordings and uh, when it comes to ott there is a cha- uh, there is high chance of uh, your cinema getting into pirate right okay so is a film on ott platform as well and how does that process work ott has some uh, selection criteria they will see who are the cast in the cinema uh, because uh, uh, either they will see the cast or uh, they will see how big the cinema has uh, success uh, cinema is success if the cinema is success in theater they will ask our cinema to project in OT, in their platform if cinema uh, uh, either they will, either they want uh, actors uh, known actors or they want our cinema to be hit in theaters once they this uh, there is a sometimes uh, there are less chances of cinema getting into ott because of many reasons there may be like cinema quality cinema not up to the mark when it comes to screenplay uh, not uh, when it comes to casting it may be like uh, not good actors in the cinema there are many chances ott uh, there are chances that ott will reject your cinema 
right so there are a there is a lot of competition when it comes to you know releasing your film in the ott platform so how do you uh, plan to take it forward how do you plan to you know make it a big big for yourself for example maybe collaborating with other directors or something like that yeah you know uh, after this uh, after our film experience kamleoda uh, we can, like uh, we started uh, okay what is what are the things we need next this we need to upgrade ourselves like we need to mix match those talents like if i am bringing a uh, new talent we need to bring one more experienced talent into the and call uh, we, need, we need to mixture there is a mixture of technicians old and uh, new one there is a mixture of there will be mixture of actors uh, known actors and newcomers we need to mixture those things and we need to concentrate on first we need to have good script right then uh, rest uh, everything comes okay so how does this actually feel to see yourself on the big screen how was that experience uh it was like i i felt really really good because i like i started crying because mm -hmm. that was my first uh first impact uh, like i am going to give to the audience uh it was like an it was very emotional i wanted to say something to audience i wanted to convey something to audience that i am finally doing it this, this is this is the start i don't know where i'll go but uh, over a period of time i'll improve i'll make uh, good cinemas right that is completely you know understandable because you have been doing so much hard work putting in a lot of efforts day and night for your film to be released and finally getting to see yourself on the yeah. big screen it's a blessing indeed yeah yeah okay so uh, how is acting as a career is it like uh, you know sustainable and what would be your ultimate advice for the aspiring actors this is the most uncertain industry when it comes to career that's what i suggest uh, before coming to the industry make a source of income like passive income uh, so that you can sustain uh, but it is definitely possible that you, you should be having that particular goal okay see a person like me an uh, engineer who never wanted to become an actor who never wanted to get into the film industry uh, started acquiring the skills like when it comes to acting or whatever when it comes to art film you should be unique people want some uniqueness in you mm -hmm. that's what they are expecting it and you should know your uniqueness also so that you can play with it that's what i i suggest be unique be unique that's it know your usp and you got to make a place in people's heart then yeah definitely right so what were some kind of promotional activities that were carried out for the film uh, uh, when it comes to promotion uh, like uh, we follow normal usual routines when uh, that is all everything should be mixture like uh, we should follow conventional like uh, news, newspaper tv you know nowadays youtubers influencers uh, and we should have those uh, uh, creative like uh, creative form of uh, like marketing our film like marketing our film is also uh, very very important when it comes to uh, like making a business when it comes to business when it comes like there are nowadays people like people have hell lot of uh, entertainment entertainment options they should uh, why should they come to see our film that point we should raise and then that curiosity we should generate in people's mind right that that's they are going to see something unique in this right So that's how you know people will eventually come and uh, maybe reading the positive reviews also sometimes work yeah. and uh, the kind of creating the hype around the film can also be one of the options. Okay. Yeah. So um, anything else you want to mention about you know as a message to the people and you know how was your overall experience? What was your biggest learning or you know the kind of is it possible for anyone to start? Um, with a certain budget and you know produce your own film with a team and then make it a head in life yeah definitely it's uh, like anyone can do film but uh, it takes uh, hard work like it is not like a, a nowadays film is like it it should not be predictable it should be like engaging this uh, and it should be new anyone can do if he, ha he has these three elements in the script 
and also it takes uh, it's not an easy job to make a cinema and release it um, uh, because there are like nearly 3500 cinemas will release in india uh, india will produce 3500 cinemas out of 3500 you should make a mark every year that is a biggest challenge so it is not a easy thing uh, so you should be very very careful in each and every step uh, while making a film so is starting your own you know team and producing a film on your own is it uh, equal to the return on investment as you get uh, it's like uh, you if you start a film with a team it will be very easy when it comes to making a cinema Uh, making a cinema is easy whereas uh, marketing the cinema is more difficult <laughs> uh, so you i suggest people to have their own team uh, and uh, try try that's it try. what are some of the other opportunities you have been able to you know uh, get after your film was released uh, after my film release uh, i was uh, recognized by few people uh, i am like, like uh, listening stories uh, i am like i am more into like a uh, having my i actually i told you right we were we formed a team and we were looking for uh, we formed a team and we wrote after few short films we wrote a script and uh, i'm like more concentrating on that script to make a film now right so uh, thank you so much rohit sir it was wonderful to you know talk to you and it was really an insight- insightful session and i'm sure that the things you shared and the uh, you know the learnings from your own journey would be very much helpful and very really inspiring and motivation for the people watching because many students and many freshers who want to get into this career they find it very hard to actually begin with but some of the steps you s- suggested were really you know g- very insightful so thank you so much for coming here and sharing your journey with us thank you thank you thank you for having me here thank you how thank did you. you like the interview how did you like it, your it was question? good it was like uh, it was a unique interview that's what i wish you best Thank you thank you so much